Mr. Speaker, the housing crisis was declared a month ago in Ottawa, Piscata, and the situation is serious. The Red Cross emergency team is right now on the ground there. But the question is, where is the federal government's plan? The government must work together with the community to find a long-term solution. Will the government declare a state of emergency and help the people in distress in Ottawa, Piscata? the Honourable Minister of Indian Affairs. Mr. Speaker, we're continuing to work with the province and the community to implement the emergency management plan to ensure that residents have access to warm, dry and safe shelter. On-the-ground assessment has determined that urgent health and safety issues demand immediate action. Therefore, we've informed Chief Spence that we are placing the First Nation in third-party management. I've also requested a comprehensive audit What oversight measures have been taken over the past five years? The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. Mr. Speaker, Attawapiskat is ground zero of a national catastrophe, and after a month of inaction, when the Red Cross had, had to step in, when emergency measures had to step in, their solution is to blame the community. If they wanted to know what was happening in the community, they could have called their co-manager, who's on the ground right now, who I spoke with yesterday. When the Red River floods, when the Red River floods, people show up. When Slave Lake burned, politicians showed up. Why are the people of Attawapiskat treated so differently? Why is it that when it's a First Nation community in distress, this government's response is contempt? Our priority is ensuring that people in immediate need get adequate shelter as quickly as possible. We're also looking at ways to ensure this situation does not happen again. We agree that we cannot have Band-Aid solutions. There are larger structural issues here that need to be addressed. We will be providing short and longer term uh, ways to address these concerns. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for